us is not exclusively given only by quick comments and gentlemen. Society changed their mind. Uh, what people trying to change from voting Prabowo to voting Jokowi is not only because they see the quick con because Jokowi will win, for example, but also because they see the campaign. They also see the public debate. They see that the content of the policy given by Jokowi is better than the Prabowo, for example. Therefore, society changed their mind. It is not exclusive only because of the quick con. Never been explained by the side of the house why it is exclusive and why it is it's the exclusivity of quick time. But before moving on to my classes, two points of the Firstly, how they believe that uh, what is best inside of uh, during election is we trying to minimize the debate. Firstly, this is why we right? Because in democracy in democratic country, we try to open all the channel. We try to give the channel for the society to have the uh, to have to have the real conditions of what is going on in the political condition of their country. Therefore, we have a lot of debate, not only in the TV but also in every campus, for example. That proving you how a society should have the right to have the channel at the end of the day. We say that uh, we say that just because uh, just because that there is a lot of them, just because there is quick fun does not mean suddenly a society will not stop uh, will stop discussing about because that they they foresee that Jokowi will win. That therefore society will stop discussing about uh, about the policy of Jokowi because the interest of society is not whether or not Jokowi win, but who who is the best candidate uh, upholding their interest? Who is the best candidate that can bring Indonesia to the right way? We say that that is not contingent contingent to the result of the quick run. Second of all, talking about swing voters, let us uh, how they believe that, well, at the end of the day, swing voters will move to another candidate because they see the quick run. Again, it's not only because of the quick run, ladies and gentlemen, but second of all, why it is not valid? Because then that means the swing voters, ladies and gentlemen, they have not decided whether they want to choose Jokowi or Prabowo, for example, but there are uh, but there are times where at the end of the day, they choose Jokowi. That means there are another consideration where they're trying to choose another candidate, and we said that is valid, and uh, that is valid. Yes. You say that society will only see from the quick one, but also the program. But if people see, say, that society is the delusional, first of all, it's contradiction. Second of all, if society is that one, why do you need quick count to guide the society from the delusion? Uh, we said that uh, we explain a lot how quick count is uh, is actually the reflections, uh, the reflection of what is going on at that time about the popularity, and after the quick count, it also the reflections given to the KPU whether or not KPU will can be held uh, accountable at the end of the day. So moving on to my questions, firstly, whether or not quick count create check and balance with KPU. I want to believe that well, it is not necessary at all because there is bawah look up uh, NGO and a lot of superficies. We admit that exists, ladies and gentlemen. The question would be whether or not it is enough. We said that that is not enough at all. The fact that the KPP trial and there are a lot of people, uh, uh, a lot of people are saying uh, employees inside of the KPU saying that they are fault because uh, they are wrong because they try to exploit the exploit the decision. For example, that's showing you how KPU is not angelic at all, ladies and gentlemen. We cannot just simply rely. Uh, we cannot just simply rely on such institutions and help them that they are the one that will always be right, ladies and gentlemen. No, with uh, that means, ladies and gentlemen, with quick one, society have uh, have an independent body that can supervise whether or not KPU's result is right. Because then we, we cannot gamble and we cannot let any loopholes where KPU can just exploit the results. Because what is okay. happening? No, because what is happening without the quick one? Because then KPU will have no was it? Uh, we have no. Uh, uh, we have another body that can result, uh, that can announce the result itself. They can just announce anything very simple. But then the response of the side is simple, right? Saying how KPU can also go to the jail and things like that. We see that, that uh, there are a lot of consequences, ladies and gentlemen. But the, uh, uh, but, the, uh, but the question would be, is it enough or not? And what the society cannot have their own independent body to have the quick count itself. Moreover, we said that we already explained you a lot how this is very normal for government institutions to have private body watching them. We have uh, we have Indonesian Corruption Watch, for example, to, uh, to watch corruption in Indonesia. We have Indonesian okay. Policy Watch. No. Well, Indonesian police watch to watch police in, in our society. Why is it okay for this particular yeah. uh, private uh, uh, government institution to have another uh, another body to watch them? And why KPU is not this in gentlemen? Okay. Second of all, uh, no. Talking uh, talking about media and NGO, we think that this is very different, right? Because and um, because what media and NGO is doing is only uh, uh, watching them uh, in, inside of directly in the in the place of uh, QuickCon itself. But talking about QuickCon, they they only announce the uh, they only announce the uh, the direct results directly after the elections. 
So look at to my second clashes. Impact of the quick on before the election. Uh, impact of the quick on, impact the quick on itself. They try, uh, they try to say how it actually harms the deliberating process because then some people might vote because of popularity and some people uh, some people cannot vote because they're pessimists. So let's analyze voters, ladies and gentlemen. Within the vote, uh, within the voters, the, no, within the voters, they want to be upholding their interests, right? Certain uh, and certain uh, uh, and only certain certain candidate can represent their interests to be upholded to the uh, to the election itself. We said that that is no correlation at all. Just because you see quick count, just because you want to vote Prabowo and you see Prabowo will lose inside of the quick count, suddenly you will choose Jokowi. We said that concept for the people, for example. Who want to be uh, who want who who want Islam, uh, who want their uh, their right to be upholded can exclusively uh, can exclusively be happen under the Prabowo just because they see Jokowi will win they can suddenly go to uh, go to choose Jokowi ladies and gentlemen because then that because then Jokowi cannot represent their interest at the end of the day that proves you how first deliberative process would be just okay we even if there is good count ladies and gentlemen because what is most important for these people is whether or not they can uphold the interest but even if, but even if this quick count actually uh, influence their uh, influence their uh, their, uh, their process, we think that that is okay because then they think that this is uh, because then this is actually their choices and they think that the choices is valid. Why is it not okay at all? Because we say even those people who choose Jokowi or who choose Prabowo, they, they choose only because of the campaign. They choose only because of the promises, meaning that it is not something real at the end of the day. But why is it okay for those people to choose candidates? Based on the promises, but not based on the quick card itself. But then that is very normal. It's not uh, in democratic country to choose certain candidate because uh, because of uh, they simply just feel it okay. For example, just feel it that way. We said that that is very okay, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, so let's compare the the harm. Uh, so let's compare the harm given by the side of the house. The the harm is uh, the harm. I already explained you how the harm coming from the side of the house is not exclusively because of the quick card itself. It's also because of uh, uh, it, it, it can be happen because of another things. But look, what happened under our proposal when we have no uh, we, when we have no quick card at all? Firstly, there is no independent body that watch the result of the KPU, and second of all, we think that uh, and, and second of all, we think that it's even more harmful when you have no independent body to watch KPU. We beg you to oppose.